Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ, our risen Savior. In the account of Easter morning in Matthew's Gospel, we read again and again of the fear that gripped the hearts of just about everyone involved, the Roman guards, the women who came to the tomb, and the disciples whom the women would go and tell. Our Easter this year is one marked by much fear as well. Fear of the virus, to be sure, but also fear of economic loss, fear born of isolation and loneliness, and fear that thrives in the great uncertainties about our lives that seem to overwhelm us. In the midst of these fears, the angels' words to the women are very much the Lord's words to us as well. Do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen as he said. Jesus offered his life on the cross, bearing our sins so that we might be forgiven. He rose from the grave, conquering death and offering eternal life to all who believe in him. In the face of the coronavirus, we put our trust in Jesus, who is alive and who is very much still on the throne of the universe. We celebrate his resurrection, knowing that neither death nor life, neither viruses nor lockdowns will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. And we offer hope, hope to our neighbors and friends, hope to a world that is caught in fear, a world that so needs to know the joy of salvation and the freedom of life in Christ. Over these past few weeks, I've been drawn back again to the wonderful final blessing from the Anglican Church of Kenya, which a number of our churches have used, the blessing in which we send our problems and difficulties and all the devil's works to the cross of Christ. And we set our hopes on the risen Christ. And I've been adding to that in my mind, sending this virus to the cross as well. And so I've been declaring it like this, the coronavirus we send to the cross of Christ. All our problems we send to the cross of Christ. All our difficulties we send to the cross of Christ. All the devil's works we send to the cross of Christ, and all our hopes we set on the risen Christ. God bless you all.